you guys make a very good point of saying that Donald Trump, they take his words out of context out of the time. You say that all the time, right, Congressman? They, take, they cherry pick his words, they take it out of context, right? Sure, that's correct, absolutely. Yeah. You guys are doing that to me right now in an ad for your campaign. I want to play you a piece of sound that I said on this show, and then I hope I get an apology from you for it. To your point, I mean, if she does take quite a while longer, mm. what happens to other folks who want a it's chance a problem, to run against her? Because she's doing what they call in politics, freezing pockets. Because the donors are giving her money thinking she's going to run. That means they're not going to have available money for other exactly. candidates if she doesn't. And I don't think she's going to give it to them. She's on her way to deciding. We'll see. About deciding. We couldn't help her any more than we have. <laughs> I know. You know I mean, she's, she's I got know. just a free ride so far from the media. We're the biggest ones promoting her campaign, so it better happen. This clip. One, I look much younger, and it was barely two years ago, and I can't believe how this campaign has aged all of us. The second one is this. I was talking specifically about the book tour that Clinton was going on a couple of years ago instead of announcing her candidacy, and all the media was covering the book and what was going to happen with the book and when will she uh, finally decide to run, and that's what I was talking about. That's the context. Your campaign took it out of context, made it sound like I said it yesterday as some type of admission that we're in the tank for Hillary Clinton. That is inaccurate, it's out of context, and it is wrong, and you're raising money off it. Do I get an apology? I don't, well, uh, personally, I would not run, run that kind of ad. You so, are running uh, it. If, if you work it, with the campaign, well, and they I'm are not, running it. I, I am not running it. So I will say this, Chris, you're a great guy, and if all of that that you said is true, I'll apologize to you. Uh, but that's politics, as you know, and uh, I know when I ran for, uh, you know, I'm two, saying if you're going to complain, ago, if you, it was a couple of years ago. It was before I said the same things about Trump that we were front running and hyping him to get him into the race because these are the big names. They were the exciting names. It would make the campaign exciting. Uh, and those are the kinds of people that you see getting attention early on. That was my point. But if you're going to complain about being taken out of context, you shouldn't do the exact thing that you criticize, and that's what's going on in that ad. Fair point? Well, he here's what I would just say. Uh, the liberal press is distorting what, Hillary, uh, what Donald Trump says. What you're talking about isn't what Hillary said. It's something you said, and I will accept you as an honorable person. What you're saying is true, and to that extent, I would apologize to you for taking your words out of context. I'm certainly not going to apologize to the Clintons. Oh, no, I wasn't asking you to do that one step at a time. I'm just worried about myself.